Good morning, modern steaders. Carport's coming along nicely. I'll tell you what, though, we've been spoiled being able to build the buildings we've been building this summer out of kits. Now that we're working on the carport extension and cutting everything out of our own lumber and scraps, it's taking a little bit more time. <laughs> it was pretty nice to be able to build part of that carport area out of the skids from the pallets that the woodshed got shipped in on. Good morning, pigs. Look at that sky. What a beautiful morning. It's one of the nice things about having a farm and doing animal chores. You're forced to come out early in the morning and no matter what the weather is. And by doing that, you can always find beauty in everything. Oh, it's amazing what it's like first thing in the morning when the sun's rising, when it's still quiet out, right after a rainstorm or a thunderstorm if you come out to check on the animals. Morning, boys. Morning, Figaro. Good morning, mister. Today we're going to work on making the roof rafters for the barn and then hopefully after we get the roof rafters cut we'll get them up and then I'm hoping to get it strapped. In the next couple of days we should be putting the tin on the roof. I'm waiting for the tin to get delivered for the carport part of the roof. That should be here either today or tomorrow. Came up with some new merchandise and our number one selling shirt is the Crazy White Chicken Memorial t-shirt. If you guys haven't seen that shirt yet, I'll leave a link in the video description down below to our new merchandise store. I'm always getting asked, <coughs> I'm always getting asked why use an electric milker on Willow? Willow does not enjoy being milked, especially by hand. She does a lot better job with the electric milker. And then next year, I'm hoping to be milking three goats. So I want to figure out which milker works the best and the best way to go about using one before that time comes. And believe it or not, Willow is doing so much better with the electric milker versus hand milking. And by doing it this way, it makes it more enjoyable for me because she's not getting all antsy and giving me an attitude. The update we made to the hay feeder the other day is working good. Huh, it's working good. You jumping on my back, little P, huh? You jumping on my back? Yes, good morning to you too. Come on in. It's super windy out and look at them clouds, guys. We got a thunderstorm rolling in. I'm wondering if this is remnants from the hurricane they just had down in Florida. That's my guess. So let's see how far we can get today before, we, before that thunderstorm rolls in. You can feel it. It's bringing in warm air too. A little odd. I see our supervisor's on the job already this morning. He's licking his paws. I don't know if that means he approves or disapproves. Huh, Figaro? Listen to that wind. Ooh, let's see. We should have one 2x6 as a template. Guess I gotta find that one. That might be inside the woodshed. hope it's in here. Otherwise, I don't remember where we put it. I should have a long end template and a short one. <laughs> Good. We do. All right, we need to cut the bird mouth notches and all the plum cuts. 
that's the nice part about buying a pre-cut kit all this part is done for you the woodshed and the barn for a pre-cut kit so it saved us a lot of time I was thinking this morning how much time it would have taken me to build the barn if I cut everything by myself we'd still be building it right now we wouldn't be on the woodshed that's for sure the rafters up before the rain comes in time will tell let's check our layout and see how many rafters we're gonna need we're gonna need one up against that's so gonna be one two three four five six so we have one two already made so we'll be three four five six we'll have one extra two by perfect i like it Last bird mouth notch cut. These ones stood up, then we can work on our front rafters. Let's get this marked. Sure, if we complete this cut, I do believe that this angle this one 
Sweet. So if we do this first, that, that'll complete that cut. to stop and take a drink of coffee. Mm. Free range coffee guys, my favorite. Let's mark the layout on the back here. right up against the building and then we want it to fall so 47 49. we're going two feet on center so we're going to go 71 73 95 97 boom and boom best way to mark a nice heavy line with the pencil so you can see it. Alright, look at all them daddy long legs. I'm going to run the layout on top here the same way. When I'm done with that, we'll be right back. Alright, now we need a 1x8 that's 10 feet long for our ridge pole. I have a lumber pile up on the other end of the property. Let's go see what we have. If you guys are new to the channel, you've never seen this part of the property. This is the four acre pasture we had logged last year. I'll put a link to that playlist right here. And over here is our material handling area. <laughs> we got a bunch of rough sawn lumber in here too. Stuff's been sitting out here for a while. Need to get back here and reorganize. All right, so that's one by eight. Perfect. If it's 10 feet long, we are golden. Oh yeah, more than 10 feet long. That's gonna work perfect. I like it. Boom. Yep. That might be a little too punky. It's a little rotted. Maybe this one will be better. That one looks better. Yes. Yeah. One by eight, that's hemlock. I think that's pine. It's been sitting out for a while. It's got some red rot. Slug. This one's better. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Look at them clouds. Phew. Something's rolling in. Gina's at an appointment right now. Well, she's not out here right this minute. And I knew with the rain coming in, we needed to get started early. Oh, 
I'm feeling a rain sprinkle. We gotta get her done. I'm gonna get the rafters on today. We get a little wet. I guess we gotta get a little wet. There's the staging. piece of strapping. Actually, let's do this first. Let's set in a couple of screws. Oh yeah, here comes the rain. I might have to shut off the other camera. I want that to be tight there. And then I got a piece of strapping so we know how far down set this top oh, I like that right there are we good and tight we are we're tight on the siding and we're tight there let's get some screws in it to hold it temporarily we'll come back after and really secure it so the ridge pole needs to go from there to here so what I was thinking is if I get it here screw in here and then down there I know it needs to be 36 inches high so we'll have something to rest it on Raining too early, guys. Too early for rain. We've got stuff we need to get done today. Yeah, that'll work if we do that. It's coming down good now. We gotta shut off our time lapse camera. That can't stay out in the rain. Sorry! Might get a little soggy, but that's all right. So, hoping that this goes smoothly, this part. There, if we set this in place like so. Yeah, that'll work. Get on the other side. Oh. Set it and get some screws started first. Want to make sure our strapping lines up. It does. I like it right there. Should have done this earlier, but I didn't. We'll get layout marked up here.
on this side we can come to the bottom and get it like so and love it Right on it. This rain is some wonderful to work in. Makes it so enjoyable, guys. Let's get these ones started. Guess it adds a bit of adventure to the build. for now we need to switch over to our timber locks oh I got hedge locks they'll work but not what I thought I had grabbed You can just see all of it get pulled together. You can even see the 4x4 post getting sucked in. I like it. So that's all secure. Now I need to go to the back and do the same thing. Comes the rain again. Pull it out and get the siding. There we go. Let's grab a 10 inch long one. We'll drive the 10 inch right down. I'll drive it all the way down through both top posts and then into the beam. Might be overkill, but that's what we've been doing on the end ones. Flush, yep. it down so nicely. Perfect. 
yuck. The rain just makes everything so soggy. But the container is so much nicer for construction. It's a lot nicer out now than it was earlier. Yeah. It's nice that the rain stopped. Yeah. You guys been rolling in mud. Look at you. Don't trip on the apples. Okay. I think they're all over there. Oh, never mind. Hope's over there, though. It's our buttercup and blossom. Hey, Willow. But Willow's in there with her babies. With her kiddos. I did it again. I left the basket in the house. Sheesh. That scared me. I bet it did. I almost got out of the fence. They are extra hungry today. No chickens. Yeah, eight. eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. I get sixteen. Sixteen. Nice. What? The ducks eat a little bit of grain and then they're like, oh, yeah, no, I'd rather come over and talk to you. We can have some of those with dinner tonight. Yeah. And have sausage, biscuits, gravy, and scrambled eggs. Mm, that good. Yummy. Slow down. I'm trying to get my little egg cracker to help me, but she's not interested. Pluto wants to help. <laughs> you want to help too, Tanner? backyard to table kind of meal. Uh, so nice to be able to go outside, collect your own eggs, know that the sausage you were eating from pigs that you raised and having goats to raise your own milk with, raise your own milk with, you know what I mean. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but some days I just get stuff in my head and I'm like, I gotta get it accomplished. Today, it was that way with the rafters. I was like, we need to get this done. Winter is coming. I know for a lot of y'all, you still have summer. Not for us. Fall is here. Before we know it, we're going to be getting our first snowstorm. Usually, by Gina's birthday in October, we've had a snow flurry at least. So, we'll see if that holds true this year, guys. But we also got to stop and take a break in a day or two. We're going to be harvesting our meat birds. We'll be putting that meat in the freezer, which always feels good. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video. 
If you're not subscribed yet, now is a great time to do that and turn on notifications while you're there because YouTube does not always like to send you notifications. So when you're on the bell icon, if you hover over it for a minute, it'll give you a selection. You can never get notifications from us, sometimes get notifications from us, and always. So we'll see you right back here in the next video.